Today, one of the biggest challenges in achieving sustainable development is how to conserve the world's natural energy resources. The challenge is especially difficult for many developing countries due to their expanding population, high levels of poverty, and lack of technology. Their lives is mostly based on natural resources. This video introduces you to a village in the developing country of Nepal which is taking action to conserve their natural resources by adopting biogas technology. This village is called Sola, which you can see on this map. It is located approximately 145 kilometers southwest from Kathmandu, the capital city of Nepal. Sola has 4,135 households with a total population of 25,000 people. The average monthly income is 5,000 rupees, which equals 3,500 yen. Sora village is nearby Chitwan National Park. This park is famous for wildlife. In 1984, it was named a World Heritage Site, and from that time became popular with many tourists. The surrounding area is also well known for agriculture. Both tourism and agriculture are important sources of income for Nepal. There are also many forests around the park nearby Sora where local people gather firewood for cooking and other household needs. The gathering of firewood can cause many problems. The first problem is deforestation. This means the loss of the forest due to the cutting of trees. The second problem is damage to the ecosystem and loss of animal habitat. The third is a decrease in income from tourists due to the damage of the forest and ecosystem. The fourth is health problems for families, particularly women due to kitchen smoke from the burning of firewood. The final problem is attacks by wildlife on the people who go to gather the firewood in the forest. Other way to reduce the use of forest resources, the Nepal government established a community forest in 1995 and made families in Sora responsible for protecting it. But as the population in Chiton area continued to grow, the families continued to take more resources from the community forest. A buffer zone is a forested area where people and wildlife live together. The purpose of a buffer zone is to support people's needs while protecting the forest and wildlife. In the buffer zone around Chitwan National Park, the local people can collect firewood and other forest resources twice a year. However, as mentioned before, wildlife sometimes attacks the local people in this buffer zone. So there are problems about how to manage the balance between humans and animals in the buffer zone. So as a way to protect the local people, wildlife, and forest resources, biogas was introduced to Sora through the support of various international and national organizations. Biogas is a natural energy source that comes from the breakdown of organic matter, such as animal, human, and vegetable waste. The end product is the methane gas, which is a renewable energy source. So how is biogas made? First, cow or buffalo dung, human or kitchen waste, is put in the biogas plant. Water is then added in equal proportion to the waste and mixed each day. Provided the temperature remains above 25 degrees centigrade, methane gas is produced. The methane gas is then piped through a rubber hose to a cook stove. As the methane gas is being produced, it pushes liquid down to the bottom of the biogas plant. This liquid dung is called slurry. It can be used as fertilizer for gardens and fields. From 2003, Biogas Support Program Nepal, a local NGO began to spread the use of biogas widely in Sora through the support of a government subsidy. A subsidy is a money that is provided freely to households who choose to use biogas. Currently, there are 450 households with biogas plant in Sora. You can see the cost of making a biogas plant in this table. Plant size 6 is popular in Nepal. 
Sora is located in the Terai, so the cost is 38,432 Nepali rupees, which is about 27,000 yen. The subsidy is 9,700 rupees, which is 6,800 yen. So the cost to the household is 28,732 rupees, which is 20,100 yen. Now let's look at the benefits of biogas. 1. It reduces the use of firewood, which helps to prevent deforestation. 2. It saves women's working time, as women spend many hours gathering firewood. 3. It allows children to attend school more often, especially girls. When girls collect firewood, they cannot attend school. 4. It improves agriculture. When fertilizer is put on the field, the crops grow better. 5. It reduces garbage. Using animal dung and kitchen waste to produce biogas, reduce the garbage and makes the household clean. 6. It improves sanitation. Firewood makes the house dirty. It is easier to keep the home clean with biogas. 7. It improves family health, especially for women and young children who are in the kitchen for many hours. Unlike the firewood, there are no smoke from biogas. Finally, 8. It reduces global warming, as there is very little carbon dioxide produced from the biogas. Let's look at the benefits in this diagram. You can see the loop and the relationship among the various benefits which were stated before. Although there are many benefits of using biogas, there are also some problems. One, People who have no land and domestic animals cannot install a biogas plant. 2. Even though women have extra time, they may not be able to use their time well, because they may not have the knowledge or skill to do work that earns them money. 3. People who are poor cannot install a biogas plant. Even though there is subsidy, the cost is still too expensive for many families. 4. There is not enough biogas in winter. As the temperature in the window drops, the less gas is produced. In the future, the biogas industry, along with the local people, must consider how to solve these problems. Despite the problems, the use of biogas in Chituan may be the best energy source considering the environment and community situation. However, it is difficult to use biogas in Japan. When deciding the energy source, which is best for an area, it is important to consider the country, culture, custom, and the situation from the economy and society.